Today we are going to learn how to create this layered pie chart using Microsoft Excel. This type of chart is also sometimes called a sunburst chart. Our chart has three concentric circles. In the inner circle, we have the grand total number of student athletes, 840. This number is broken down by season, fall, winter, and spring. And then in the outer circle, we can see for each season which sports the athletes are participating in. We will also look at how to replace the grand total in the center with a logo and how to remove the center circle, giving us two layers instead of three. Okay, so let's create this chart. The first step is to prepare the data and put it in the right format. If we look at the data table, we have our athletic programs organized by the three seasons, fall, winter, and spring. And I'm adding highlighting just so that I can stay on track as to what I'm doing. You don't actually have to add the highlighting. All of the data for the very outer circle, the number of student athletes by program, is in the last column. And I'm going to insert a column before that to hold our total for each season. And then I'll add a row underneath the fall athletic programs and add a total for fall. Type a formula equals some open parentheses and then highlight the range of fall programs and close parentheses. And then I will do the same for winter and for spring. Because our donut chart will have three circles, each circle will have will pull data from a separate column. So we will have three columns of data. I'm now adding a third column that will hold our grand total which will be the sum of all of the student athletes, which is our 840. I will select all the data. I do not need the data in the first column, so just starting with program that has all the labels, and then our three columns with values. Go to the insert menu, and then in the chart section, there is a sunburst chart, but we are not going to use that because it will not give us enough flexibility in the formatting. There's also a pie chart, but we are going to go with a donut chart. And if I select the legend and delete it and make the chart larger so that we can see what we're doing, you'll see that we have three concentric circles. If you right click on one of the circles and select format data series, this brings up the formatting panel on the right, and on the very last panel, series options, there is a place where we can decrease the donut hole size. This donut chart has three circles. The innermost circle is taking its values from the entire grand total column. Any blanks are treated as zeros, there's only one value, and so that 840 is 100% of the inner circle. The next circle takes its values from the season total column, and it has three sections for fall, winter, and spring. And then the outer circle takes its values from the very last column. It's very important that the subcategories add up to the categories, which add up to the total. And they all need to be in the same order. So first we have all the data for fall, then all the data for winter, and then all the data for spring. If you prefer, you can actually set up your data in this format, again, we have our three columns, but you'll notice that fall, winter, and spring are grouped together toward the end. And again, it's the same concept where first you have all the data for fall and then winter and then spring. So as long as everything's in the same order and spread across in the three columns, your chart should come out correctly. And now for the fun part, when we get to format the chart, right click anywhere on the chart and select Format Data Series. And then in the right-hand column under Series Options, decrease the size of the donut hole slice. I'm bringing it all the way down to zero. And we can hide this line. It's part of the border. If I click somewhere in the center of the circle and go to Fill in Line and Border, I can remove that by clicking on No Line. And then click again in the center and back under Fill in Line I'm going to change the color to white.
and click away from the chart, select the entire chart, and click on the plus sign to the right of it, and check the box for data labels. So here in the center, we have our 840, which is the total. If I right click on that, I can go to Format Data Labels and add the category name, which is grand total. And then in the separator drop down box, I will select a new line. And that'll just put a hard return between grand total and 840. And I'll also make it bold. To format the next layer, I will click somewhere in that layer and then click again in one of the sections so that only that section is selected. And under fill in line, I will change that color and then do that again for the second category and for the third category. And I will click on one of the labels so that all labels in the inner circle or the middle circle are selected and change that to bold and then go to Label Options and check the box next to Category Name. And in the separator box, I'm going to remove the comma that is there and type in colon and space. I'm also going to go to the Size and Properties tab. And under Alignment, change the custom angle of the text. So for Fall, I am setting it to 50%. And you kind of just have to test out different angles to see what works for the data that you have. And then for winter, I ended up with setting the angle to minus 20%. And for spring, I'm going to set it to a minus 70%. Now click somewhere on the outer circle and then click on again just on one piece of it. From the home ribbon, go to the fill drop down box and set the color to the same color as our first category fall. And while you still have that first piece of the chart selected, return to the fill drop-down box, and this time go to more colors and select a lighter shade of that color. And then apply this lighter shade to the other pieces of the chart that belong under the first category. Then we will repeat the process for winter, selecting the first subcategory that goes with winter, or set it to the same color as winter and then change it to a lighter shade of that color. And then continue the process around the rest of the chart. Click on one of the data labels in the outer circle so that they are all selected. Click the plus sign next to the chart. Go to data labels, more options. Check the box for category name. Make sure that show leader lines is checked. And in the separator box, again, remove the comma. And I'm going to enter a colon and space. And now, this actually does not take as much time as you would think, but I'm going to manually adjust the labels so that they fall outside of the chart. And the leader lines are going to help the reader see which labels go with which piece of the chart. Sometimes the lines do not show up, but if you move the label a little bit further away from the chart, then they will usually appear. I went ahead and added a title, and we now have a beautiful layered pie chart or sunburst chart. If we want to change this chart so that it has only two layers, we can remove the center of the chart by selecting the chart and then going to the chart design menu and click on select data. In the dialog box that appears under series, select the grand total, which is the center of the chart, and then click remove. And then you may need to make any necessary adjustments to the labels. Now we have a layered pie chart with two layers, but remember this is actually a donut chart. So that means that I can click somewhere on the chart and right click and go to format data series and then adjust the donut hole size. I am setting it to 50%. And then add an image to the center of the chart. So 
So to summarize what we learned, there are two parts to the strategy of creating this chart. The first is to make sure that the data is set up correctly in columns and in the right order. And the second is to use a donut chart. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy learning about working with data, please consider subscribing to this channel.